I'm creating this video to have another how to install a different kernel video. The topic on the Discord chat that we're having today, Saturday 22 January. And yes, let's do the update of the Linux firmware as well. So there's another video, a reference to all the things we need to update for um, Arch Linux, for Arch Linux, right? The Arch Linux community, Arch Linux developers told that or decided that the Linux firmware is now a little bit less, 600 megabyte less, and we have split it into different uh, packages. So that's already explained in the video. Somebody's coming from Arch Linux, it's coming from Manjaro, I believe, and he's asking about, hey, is there some GUI? Yes, there is GUI, and no, it's not good. To choose kernels, to set kernels, and Linux Mint has also some kind of something similar. You can go jump versions in the Linux kernel or jump to the Linux LTS or we have the Zen kernel and the hardened kernel in Arch Linux. So choices for kernels by default. Thank you Arch Linux. And there are more AOR packages, AMD kernels and so, so many, many more. If you go to articlinux.com, maybe we should have a look at it. Already so many videos have been made about kernels and it's of course important. Because sometimes we do say, have you tried the LTS kernel, long-term support? That's why it says LTS. So already so many videos and choosing an older uh, kernel couldn't be easier. It's just pseudo downgrade basically, and then you choose your kernel. But switching kernel is also possible. So here's all the explanation, the, the, the articles you might want to look over but basically what i'm suggesting to you guys is that you do a sudo pacman minus s linux something right what choices do we have we have the linux you see there linux firmware is the topic of the day there's a lot of firmwares next to it you see all the choices so it, the package has been split into pieces and then the linux hardened the first kernel and the linux lts and the Linux Zen at the end. So changing is as simple as typing what you want. And there's no need, and that's what I just answered on Discord, there's no need to do anything else. Just run this, well, install this thing. It's gonna install some more elements. And you see here, Linux firmware, images needed for some devices installed. And maybe you need kernel headers. And for instance, if you have VirtualBox and you want to play around with that as well, you might need the kernel headers. So I have not, did not do anything on that end. So it's just an arrow up, a minus or a dash, tap, tap. There it is. Either you install docs or you install headers. Now I'm not going to read the documentation, but I want to have the headers. And so the headers go on my system as well. That's it. Do we need a GUI to tell the system I'd rather like to boot with a Zen kernel next time? Now, the user on Discord says, well, we have to update the grub and stuff like that. Yes, we do that for you. When you are an Arch, you have to think about all these things, right? But here we have actually done that for you. This does something. Arclinx Pacman hook to update grub automatically because otherwise we will forget. Now this is dangerous of course. You go to from Arclinx to Arclinx, then you have to indeed type in an alias which is only on our machine. So you need to remember this one sudo grub make config minus o boot grub grub c configuration, right? That's the line you need to type to update your grub configuration. Is this all? SR sudo reboot. Let's have a look. There might be another thing, right? And that's the order of things. When you boot up, the order that you see here might not be the one you like. Now, first of all, 
where is Zen? There's not, not the word Zen. When I use tap, nothing happens. When I use E, ah, there it is. Now we see the content that's going to be booted. And this line here says Linux boot VM Linux Linux Zen. That's the giveaway that behind this line, it says, let's boot Linux Zen. And you saw already at the top that that was indeed the case. And now you see it as well in NeoFetch. So it's as easy as, as doing this. Pseudo Pacman minus S and all the rest, the hooks and all the things he was talking about in Discord, not necessary on Arcanlix. It's done automatically. It's called hooks if you want to know. Pacman hooks ArchWiki. Now, if things were not okay, and that can happen, right? For instance, people who want a Windows and a Linux, which I'm totally do not advise, eh? stay with one operating system on one hard disk or SSD. Then you use the Grub customizer and you tell them this one needs to go at the top. You just use the arrows and save. And that's that. Why? Because here it says predefined first entry. And this is what we do if Windows 11 or 10 is somewhere down here and want to boot up as first one, we move the arrow up and then save it. And that's that. Now, what else want to, did I want to explain? There was something else I wanted to explain and I forgot. So Linux and ah, the downgrade, of course. So many versions of kernels. We are used to have a weekly kernel, at least one kernel a week on Arch Linux. It's, I don't know, the proper thing to do on Arch Linux. I don't know, right? But the frequency is rather uh, often. Now, if a Linux kernel comes in and you say, yesterday everything was working fine with the old kernel. Then you say sudo downgrade Linux Zen and you have a look. You can downgrade so many to so many versions, right? If you say, okay, this 16.1 thing, or in this case, 16.2, I'd rather go back to line 288, for example, line 2.88 and see if we go if everything works, the webcam, Ethernet, Bluetooth, if everything is recognized again. Yes, we downgrade. And then of course you have to tell Pacman, don't update. And he's telling you that. He's giving you the clue. Should I ignore? The last line says add Linux N to ignore packages. Ah yes, you don't want to have an update. So that's that. Now, was I, I was thinking as well on the headers, maybe we need to downgrade as well because there are a bunch, right? There are a package. I do believe I took number 288, but I'm not sure anymore. But you take the same version, of course, right? 5.15.1 or something else, but the same version. I think I took this one. We'll immediately see it when we ask it, right? So a few things I could add to this video. Every single time you need to do this, you have to build these packages. Packages in my case, I don't need. So first this, add Linux, Linux, uh, Linux Zen headers to ignore. Yes, please. Basically, and Pacman, have a look. What we did is ignore packages. There's a new line in there that says, forget about Linux and, and the headers because no need to update them. Now, to conclude the other story, I don't need the Broadcom for, Broadcom, for example. Maybe you do, so investigate. And this is a real tech card, I believe. Both of them are out. And voila. Now, concluding the story of the firmware stuff, that's um, Linux 
firmware QLogic. And if we add this to our list, if we ask for a sudo make initcpo minus p, then we don't see the warnings anymore. So with and then all the videos, last video that I've made is now in here as well. The more people see what you need to do, the better. So that's another take, another video, kernels. Check out also the YouTube. Maybe I'll, I'll incorporate that as well because still people don't seem to find a way to look on Linux or well, on YouTube, basically. You go to one of our links as long as it says YouTube, right? And then you go to Eric Dubois here. And yes, we're gonna skip the trial. This is where you need to find anything about kernels, kernel. This is the search on our knowledge base. This is the whole of YouTube at the top, right? Doesn't help. It's hundreds, millions of videos, right? It's going through. This is just us. If you wanna know something about kernels, type kernel and then you see building and installing the latest kernel what kernel to install from chaotic there are also good kernels there but there was 11 months ago we had um, around 300 kernels i do believe we are down to 50 60 maybe maybe 100 kernels and that's it so a lot of them have disappeared the xen mod kernel explained linux linux and linux hard compared so it's all in here we already have created and you see here the same thing goes for Linux Mint and other Linux um, distributions. Of course, they rely on the same. Let's go there on the same knowledge provided from Linux. Thank you, Linux. All right, Linux kernel archives. We're at 5.16.2 is stable long term and so on. And these names. Oh, my God, I am teaching these names. Come back, of course. Yay, Linux Next. Where is this name coming? In here. You want to build your own Linux Next? Number one. You've built it. You can test the next kernel and the modules and the headers. Alpha, voila. So an overview on how to achieve whatever you want to achieve with the kernels. Another video on LTS, Harden, it's up to you. Choose play around with these things and um, switch back if you say Zen is not nothing for me. That's me pressing F12 here. Sudo Pacman minus remove. You're gonna remove the Linux Zen because no, it didn't help. Don't forget the other guy. There's no need to have it. So both of them, bye bye. Nothing to do because we have a Pacman hook updated grub automatically and you know the up uh, the the grub the, the how you boot up right grub tells them there's the kernel that's the kernel and there you go sudo reboot i could have pressed e and have a look but there you go we're back on control t back on the kernel all right enjoy our clicks